I've always believed resilience is important. So personal resilience, what does it mean for me as an individual and as a leader and organizational resilience and how does our organization sort of keep going in the face of this uh, endless barrage? And I would say resilience has become that much more per important, both at a personal level and at an organizational or institutional level. I'm curious, how, what have you done to ensure that you and your team and the organization has maintained uh, that sense of strong resilience and, as I talk about as well, even resolve? Well, what are the kinds of things you've done for yourself and for your teams? Speaking personally, I mean, I've always tried to maintain uh, a balance between work and life, between my personal, physical and mental well-being and my ability to be successful as a leader. I've, I've always sort of prided myself in paying attention to that. And I think it's just become that much more important, you know, on a very personal level. I actually started 2020 with major uh, surgery. So I sort of came back from my recovery, literally like the week the pandemic was called by the World Health Organization. So I've had to double down on making sure that my physical and mental well-being are in sufficient state of control, I guess, uh, in order to do what I need to do as a leader. And as leaders in our organization, we've spent a lot of time talking about what that means for us as individuals and for all of the employees in our organization. This need to protect and preserve one's physical space, one's mental well-being, and make sure people take down time. And it was so easy in the first few weeks and months of the pandemic to just hunker down and work seven days a week and mm -hmm. work 18 hours a day because everybody was desperately trying, in our case, to protect the security of supply and make sure we could meet hospital customer needs and what have you uh, of our critical life-saving products. We couldn't maintain that pace and that momentum, both as leaders and every single employee uh, right down to the front lines. And so for me, you know, the personal resilience uh, has been about recognizing that we're in this for the long haul. This is not a short term crisis we're managing. And I, in fact, that was one thing that we talked about as an executive team early on. We said this is not a six week or two month crisis where you can work seven days a week, 18 hours a day and get through it. Recognizing the long haul required us to say, we have to make sure we give ourselves personal time, physical well-being, mental well-being. We've been really insistent, uh, and we've demonstrated this as leaders, but really insistent with our workforce that they take their vacation time, that they spend time with their families and their loved ones. And of course, it's been made that much more difficult in the pandemic because you can't go away, you can't go do your favorite activity to, to sort of get a break from work. So people have been really challenged about how do they do that. So I would say at an individual level, it's all about mental well-being, physical well-being, and balancing the work requirements, recognizing that the pandemic has imposed huge added challenges and stresses at the personal level. Mm -hmm. At the organizational level, I would say for me, resilience is about we, we're going to make bets on certain things. We may get them wrong and we may need to reposition partway through a decision because the strategic bet we made may not be taking us where we need to go. That's okay. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you're sort of aware to them and you're able to yeah. respond quickly enough. So I'd say that's an important part of organizational resilience too. 